The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. In him you have renewed all things, and you have given us all a share in his riches. Though his nature was divine, he stripped himself of glory, and by shedding his blood on the cross, he brought peace to the world. Therefore, he was exalted above all creation and became the, uh, the source of eternal life to all who serve him. And so, with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, so with faith and in confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may this peace of the Lord always be with you. And also let us share with one another a sign of peace. My friends, this is the Lamb of God. This is he who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be here. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer for the dying? O God, most kind, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, whose will it is that no one who believes and hopes in you should perish. With your boundless mercy, look with kindness on your servants, for true faith and Christian hope commend them to you. Come to them in your saving power, and because of the passion and death of your only Son, be pleased to grant them remission and pardon of all their sins, so that their souls, when they leave this life, cleansed of every stain by the blood of your Son, may enter into life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O powerful God, you renew us with your sacraments. Help us to thank you by living our lives in faithful service to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, also with you. and may God's blessing be upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is ended. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks to an anonymous donor from Windsor, Ontario, whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. The offering for our new prayer book is $10, so if you'd like to order it, please send a check or money order payable to the NCBC and mail it to the NCBC, 21 Dunlop Street, Richmond Hill, Ontario, L4C 2M6.